Okay. So we, we heard from the wonderful book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, yesterday. And now I want to dive into another prophet. Again, similar time period. With Jerusalem in this case. The book of Zephaniah, which we had not used yet, the book of Zephaniah. Still got to use Zechariah. We're working on that one. But I got away for that right theme. But for Zephaniah, um, this is a prominent, I would say even a more direct case of what we started to talk about yesterday. Literally, the dust has not even settled on the destruction of Jerusalem. And God's already working on a solution. God's already picking the people up. Right? It's like um, oh, the uh, Dark, is not Dark Knight, right? The first Batman of the Dark Knight series. Oh my gosh. What's the name of that movie? I'm totally blanking. Batman Begins. No. Yeah? I don't know. Someone can look that up. Google it. Liam Neeson's the villain. Anyway, um, the, spoiler alert, but there's that scene, right, that, that Bruce Wayne keeps coming back to. The, the kind of one of the themes of the movie, right, um, with Batman is that he, he grows up the movie. He, he's learning that he's not perfect. Rather, he learns from his mistakes. That is his weaknesses that give him strength, okay? Follow me on this one. And there's this, always this flashback he keeps going back to in his childhood where he had, he had fallen in a well and couldn't get out. And he, he shouldn't have been, you know, his parents told him not to be doing what he's doing. He did it anyway. And he paid the price, okay? And so, his, the, and the image is his father's coming down to pick him up. And, and he says, why do we fall down, Bruce? We learn how to pick ourselves back up. I think that's a great example of God. Literally here in Zephaniah, chapter 3. The dust hasn't even settled, and God is already saying to the, to the nation that was wicked, that was... Oh, wait, I want to get the exact word Zephaniah uses. Mm, scrolling up. No, it is wicked. Now that, the, that, that basically the people have got to become the enemies of God by how wicked they were to their uh, fellow human beings, those people who, according to the law of beyond redemption, God is already coming down, down to their well, and saying, why do we fall down so we can learn how to pick ourselves up? Here in verse 18, I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with all your oppressors at that time, and I will save the lame and gather the outcast. I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time, I will bring you home. At that time, I, when I gather you, for I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth, when I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. God doesn't have to promise this. God doesn't have to help the people learn from their mistakes and become stronger because of it. And here God is doing it. God's making promises that only God can keep. And I love that too. God intentionally chooses, kind of as a teaching moment, right? The Some of the greatest transgressions against Israel is they do not care for the lame. They do not care for the outcast, the alien, uh, the poor, um, the widowed, right? This is a constant refrain in the prophets that they have failed to hold of the mercies of God's law, that they have only uh, taken care of the powerful and they've chased money and idols and all that good stuff. And... Um, God's saying, you know what? You did do all that, but here we're going to do something different. God's, God's kind of like, do it with me now. I will save the lame. I will gather the outcast. I will change their shame into praise, by the way. We're not going to live and dwell in shame. We're going to learn from our mistakes and grow out of grace. What a beautiful model for us to learn from in the church today. All right. And yes, this is Holy Week. Whole, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, we still will have coffee videos uh, tomorrow and Friday, and we're going to connect in there. Don't worry. The, this this image of God transforming shame in, into grace, well, it's going to show up those days too. Happy Holy Week. See you tomorrow.